So in today's video, we're going to continue our exploration into the world of, you know, playing triads. And uh, I wanted to talk about something that kind of goes along with voice leading, but this is kind of um, the next step after you've gotten comfortable with some, some triad shapes, you're getting used to voice leading them. And what we're going to deal with today is thinking about the top voice in uh, particular taking care of different melodies that we can create. Um, and I say that this is kind of like voice leading because, well, it, it, a good melody can tie everything together, which is really wonderful. And um, with it, um, you know, it's just kind of a different way of thinking to voice leading that uh, makes things sound smooth and achieves a slightly different musical effect. So what this basically details is, say we're playing a chord progression like a, uh, let's say, 1-4-5, that's kind of been my, my basis, and let's say we're on the D, G, and B strings, and so maybe I have this C, which is a fifth and bass triad, I'm playing 5-5-5, five, five, five. then if I wanted to get an F chord there, I might go to this one, and then I might go down to this G, or so this F is a third and bass, I have 7-5-6, and then if I went to G, I might go to this 5, 4, 3, back to that C, so... Um, that's awesome, and that has a nice kind of melody to it, where I get this... Which is a cool little melody, but now this is... We're going to choose our inversions, this kind of practice is... What I want to do is I want to look at other kind of options. So I have, this is my C in the melody, or my E in the melody, sorry, of my C chord. And then what if I wanted it to climb a little bit? So I could go C, F with the third in the bass. And then maybe I want that G to, that G to stay in the melody there. So that was C, F, G, C. Oh, Definitely, maybe don't play an A flat or an E flat chord when you're doing that. I did C, F with the third in the bass, G with the third in the bass, and then that went to C in root position. So my melody there was da na na. So really, we're thinking about melodies of the top voice because whenever we play a chord, the top voice is going to sound. Even if we're playing underneath a singer, um, like particularly in a jazzier context, a common thing I might do is something like this. Oh, I got this na, na, na. really nice. It feels like you're almost like falling into bed after a long day at work. And it's the same kind of thought of now we're paying more particular attention to that top voice. And so that one I just did was da, da, da. and if we want, maybe we put a leap in because this five going down to the one might help it sound resolved. So what if I did da, C fifth in bass, F with the third in bass, G and then maybe I fall down to this C down here, which I'm kind of cheating and playing an open string. So my melody is da, 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 da. So. That's a really nice sound. Okay, now what if I started from a different C? So say I have this G as my melody. Maybe I want my melody to go da, da. Let's say that. So, C with G, or G on top, so this is a root position, C major, 10, 9, 8. Then I go to this uh, F, which will be my, um, not third in bass, it'll be fifth in bass. To get that A, G's down there, and then maybe I want to go to that E. So now I have this melody that's nice, it's kind of these two little bits that climb. My melody on top of that was... That's a nice little melody, and I'm supporting it with root position C chord, fifth and bass F, root position G to fifth and bass C. Now, of course, you get even more opportunities to do cool things with this when you mix up strings. So now I'm going to break out of just being on that one set of strings, and this lets you get some bigger jumps to your intervals. So what if I went back to that fifth and bass C, and what if I want it to climb up to that C? Maybe my melody will be E, C, B, G. That's nice. It sounds like a, a soundtrack. Um, I can't think of what the song is. And that G I could also grab 
here. And so what I'm doing is I'm picking melodies that are contained within the chord. So over C, I have the third, E, that's my top note, and then I went up to C, so I would need an F with my third in the bass here. Um, sorry, no, root position here. Then I went to this G, which would be a fifth in bass chord. And if I want G as my melody, I could go back to this root position C. So I'm gonna play it for you once in context and then I'll tell you again what I did. So that went. Uh, sorry. So these are chords that aren't necessarily voice-led, but I'm thinking about the melody on top as kind of my, my guiding light. So I did C with my fifth in the bass, so I have E as my melody note. Then an F in root position on the uh, top three strings, so I'm on 10, 10, 8. Then I go to G with the fifth in bass, which is 7, 8, 7. And then I went to a root position C major, which is 10, 9, 8. And so, let me do one more example, and for this I'm going to do a 1, 5, 6, 4. So that's the every song progression, where you see people sing all of the, you know, a million melodies over the same set of chords. So my chords for this would be C, G, A minor, F, and that was not voice-led really, but that was just kind of my garden variety version. So what if now my melody goes... I like that, that's kind of nice. So if I were to harmonize that, I have my C with my E there. Went to G, fifth in bass, so seven, eight, seven. Then I went to an A minor, which would be a fifth in bass. Idea is kind of what we'd be going for, so we'd get this. And then for my F, it's the third and it would be a fifth in bass as well. So that melody went like this. That's a really kind of cool thing. And you can stretch these out. Like say I was doing this chord progression twice, you can add some variety to it to kind of keep interest happening, right? Because that melody da, 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 is maybe boring. So maybe I go da, da, then I'll go That's really nice. So what did I do? I went E, B, I grabbed the A, so a root position, uh, or not a root position, it would be a root on top chord I need to grab, and then I went to F, which is another root on top chord I need to grab. So that, with actual chords, I got C, fifth and bass, on the D, G, B strings, G, fifth and bass. Now, for my A, maybe I'll go to this one, which is a third and bass chord, and then to get my F, it's another third and bass chord. So if I put the two of those together, it would sound like this. So my first time I went, da, 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 da. then the second time I go, da, 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 da. and that's a really nice loop. Like if you were listening to that, that's more interesting than if I just keep going, you know, da, 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 da. Your ear might get tired of this after a while. And this also gives you a great way to practice your knowledge of your triads, which I think is, of course, wonderful. So, more interesting than just... Not that there's anything wrong with this. But as a listener, I think we can all agree that we would rather hear something that went... Then... And you can do this, like the possibilities are endless. You could, uh, bah, let's say we go, bah, da, da, then maybe I want, da. so that was C, G with the fifth and bass on the A, D, G string, so five, five, four. I pulled this up to A, um, fifth and bass, A minor, and then I went down to that F. We could also go, da, and then maybe, what's another nice F we could grab, where the melody changes from here. Uh, I could be a little bit dramatic and I could go all the way, so I did. Then maybe the next time I go, and I, 
climb the melody. And that's really nice because you get this F falling to the E. But anyways, I hope this is, has been of some use. Um, I got lots of videos with lots of diagrams on all of these triads. Um, so if you don't know these shapes, feel free to check those out as well. Uh, I hope you get some use out of this because it's, it's one of my favorite ways to practice is, you know, seeing where these chords like to move other than just voice leading where I'm trying to get everything to move as smoothly as possible. This is kind of another outlet that uh, a lot of great pros know and uh, I figured I'd share with you today. So hope you get some use out of it. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. If you want to take a guitar lesson with me, I have a link to the contact page of my uh, website there. I'd absolutely love to work with you on whatever's troubling you on the guitar. I've been working with a bunch of you guys from YouTube lately and it's been really fun to connect with people, you know, all over the world. And last but not least, I got new videos coming out every Monday and every Thursday, so I'd love to see you in the next one. And until I do, I'll wish you a wonderful day, and I hope you have some fun playing the guitar.